South Pole, the sun never gets very high in the sky. And you have craters with crater rims where the sun never gets high enough for sunlight to reach the bottom of the crater. So that there are places on the moon in the middles of these craters that literally the sun don't shine. Oh, if the sun don't shine at the bottoms of these craters, anytime the moon had been previously hit by a comet, which are have high water content, the water molecules sort of drop onto the surface. If the sun hits it, they'll evaporate and escape into space. If they fell into the middle of a crater near the poles, it's a cold trap. And in a cold trap, it is hundreds of degrees below zero and it never gets warmer than that. The water molecules are there to stay forever. So we have billions of years accumulation of water at the basin of polar craters. Water is pretty good. You might want to drink it while you're there. Okay, so you can go to the moon, we sent the supplies up front, take the water out of the crater basins, drink some of it, make rocket fuel out of the rest, and now you have rocket fuel to come back to the Earth.